But we all got together, we started praying, and the atmosphere changed. Because he said, Father God, eternal God, so he going in. Uh -huh. <laughs> and he started sounding like Papa, oh, Jesus. And we got to pray. And the uncomfortable atmosphere changed. And we came together. And from that day point on, we were the Holy Temple Mass Choir. Amen, amen. amen. We sang together. We prayed together. We fought together. We loved together. We did everything. And we didn't mind helping Bishop. Amen. Because we loved our best. But here comes this young man who ain't yet got saved yet, but seeking God, mm. driving Pop to church, mm. having private conversations, didn't realize that Pop was pouring into him the whole yes. time. Mm. Oh, yeah. Preparing him. Because yeah. I know the Holy Ghost, my dear Pastor, because he was an apostle. Mm. Y'all remember the day he told us to turn and look at the wall? <laughs> the old saints that was here. He told us that the old church to turn and look at the wall. All of us thought something was wrong. But we, we was all like, why are we looking at the wall? But the Holy Ghost had told him something. It was an illustration. <laughs> I remember Pop standing there crying in the pulpit. And he looked at the wall. But we all turned at one when he told us to. Some started sticking because it's like, we looking at a wall. <laughs> but after we started thinking about that thing, his presence came into town. Yes, yes. All because we were old people. Yes, yes. Sometimes it don't make sense. Yes. And sometimes it feels like it not making sense when the prophet says to do things. Mm. But if you obey, yes. God will bring your history. Yes, yes. If you obey, God will bring your history. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? Yes, yes. yes. Everybody wants a title, but nobody wants to work. Mm. Everybody wants to be up front preaching, but nobody wants to pray. Everybody wants to be recognized, but nobody wants to recognize each other. Mm. How about when there is no service? That song says, Where is the love? How about when there is no service? Where is the love? Who do you call up and pray with? Who do you call and don't talk garbage to but just start praying in a seat? Because you feel they hurt. You feel what's going on. Right now, I'm in an uncomfortable place. I want to run all over this church and I can. I wanted to dance. Y'all see me kept putting my finger, I said, because I was saying right there is a tap. Right there is a dance. When we start talking about love. <laughs> I wanted to stand up to the podium, you know, and be, woo, and I can. So I sit in my chair, bro. <laughs> And I deal with my sinuses. And I sit here. And I speak and I preach anyway. Amen. Amen. We got to stop making excuses. Yes. Yes. yes Lord. We got to stop making excuses. God is don't, don't care nothing about that. Are you going to live for him or not? Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. David didn't make no excuse. Mm. David said, that God that delivered me from the fall of the line of bed, he going to do it today. And the same God that kept this church together 75 years ago, he gonna do it now. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? That's why you gotta stay on your post. You have to stay prayer. You can't stop and go. This ain't the stop and go shop. This ain't the stop and go market. But you gotta keep rolling with it. Pastor, I don't feel good. I don't need it tonight. I'm still here. Why? Because I have to charge you people. In the God to go with that. The uncomfortable place brings about results. All that uncomfortableness that I went through brought history. The choir recorded. It might not have came out yet, but we did it. Amen. We put drums. We did that. We put our own roles. We did that. All that uncomfortableness brought history. And we marched in this church proud with all our right on. Singing, we are one. Went through a whole lot that week just to get to that day. <laughs> but we did it. To the brother that came and prayed to that week. Y'all remember that? About the eight or ten of us 
who the Lord laid on Elder Virgil's heart for us to come in in the dust while the beans were up. Y'all don't know, we prayed in this area while the beans were up, in the pulpit area. We were, when, when the pulpit wasn't here, we were just praying. Because God told us to pray. Y'all remember that? Charles was here. We prayed. We prayed until we couldn't pray no more. For God man, we kept on praying that whole week. Because God said to pray. I know that's right. We laid on the altar at 9 o'clock prayer. Y'all remember 9 o'clock prayer? I know you, you probably told us that. But 9 o'clock prayer was something. Because when I came here, I didn't understand why folk wasn't praying at 9 o'clock. And then after a while, it started picking up. But at first, I didn't understand. Because all I would see would be Brother Greg and Sister Jackie. And a couple others. They were faithful. And I would say, Lord, why they ain't praying? Prayer is what keeps things together. Prayer is what keeps the devil out. But folk would come in dragging. We had one of the best Sunday schools. Folk come in dragging. They ain't praying, but they drag in Sunday school. Then after a while, Sunday school started picking up. Somehow, God started answering prayer. <coughs> Nine o'clock prayer started picking up. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. trouble started coming in folks' lives. Uh oh. <laughs> and they had to get off. Uh oh. You know, when trouble comes, you run. But I'd rather not have to have trouble come in order for me to get to the altar. God brought history through the prayer. God's calling this tabernacle, this temple, to pray as never before. Amen. Sometimes the Lord is going to allow your morning service to be nothing but prayer. Amen. 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 Yes. Yes. Some folks want to get the Holy Ghost through the prayer. Some people want to get refilled through the prayer. And souls, there'll be a harvest reaping souls through the prayer. So that when you go out to reach the souls, it won't be hard. Because you would have already prayed to me. Amen, amen. But sometimes the prayer is uncomfortable. Yes. You got to remember, excuse me, you're fighting against your flesh. Your flesh don't want to pray. Your flesh will help you to a five minute, you know, hallelujah, you glory to God, yeah, 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 amen. <laughs> your flesh don't want to talk because that means you have to, you got to break down. You got to break your will down. That means you got to get lost. Yes. It's yes. not about you. Yes, Lord. Yes. There's no glamour. Ain't nobody looking at my shoes right now because I'm going to lay out on the floor. Yes. Ain't no, can't nobody see my hair because I'm not parading across the floor to see me. I can't dance right 